Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Daily Energy for Monday, March 8th. And this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. I decided to change things up. I kind of get bored with reading the cards the same way. So I decided to go back to my love readings um, and my romance angel cards. So we're going to pick some romance angels and then we're going to pick some tarot and then probably close out with an oracle because I like to do that. Um, so this may or may not resonate with you. I forget if I already said that. All right, so we'll pick three of these and then we'll go from there. All right, we have attraction. We have flirt. That that came out, when was that? Was it Thursday or Friday? I think those two cards came out. And give your relationship a chance. Okay, that, that wasn't that one. But I felt like last week a couple of those came out. All right. Also, um, you have the power to change my life by liking, subscribing, and watching my video all the way through. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Okay, so we have attraction, flirt, and give your relationship a chance. So I feel like it's saying to give a relationship a chance. Um, work on your partnership. And I feel like once you do that, then you're going to be attracting like love. You're going to be attracting that positive energy. You're going to give your partner that go ahead to get back to that fun, flirty, easygoing, happy place um, that maybe the two of you haven't been in that for a while. Um, maybe the two of you have been having some difficulties. You're feeling a little separated. You're not feeling connected. And um, of course, I will never tell you what you have to do. You have to make decisions on your by yourself. But the cards are saying for those of you that, you know, maybe there's some disconnect with your partner and you know that this is the person that you want to be with and you want to work on this relationship. It's to give your relationship a chance. Maybe you haven't been taking that time to have that date night, you know, to have that, you know, that night or that day or that lunch or that morning or whatever that is just for the two of you without having any of the other, um, the other pressures of life surrounding you and you haven't been having that time and that time is so important for the two of you to stay connected even if you have kids and you have a lot going on um, you know eventually the kids are going to grow up and the kids are going to move on and it's just going to be the two of you and you don't want to end up with this person that you don't even know because you you haven't ha spent that time to connect with that person you know because the two of you have just been so busy with the kids and you know driving them to practice and you know their friends and all this other stuff that you know when they're they're grown and you know they get older and they're going off with their friends you're like who is this person that I'm with so I think that it's really important for even if your life is really busy is that you put that time aside at least once a week to even if it's just a dinner you know that the two of you just have a few hours together to connect again to flirt you know to feel that attraction, those butterflies that you have with that partner. Because obviously the two of you are together for a reason. Like you felt something in the beginning. You felt that connection with that person. And um, it's about keeping that alive and keeping that feeling. And so that when the kids do get older, that the two of you have that connection and you can just build that even stronger back again. And I feel like that's so important to help you get through those rough times and to know that you have that partner there for you. And to let each other know that you're in this together. All right, so let's pick some tarot. And 
see what we got. All right. So we have Page of Cups, and I feel like that's a good card because it's about reaching out to that other person or that person reaching out to you, you know, and showing that person that you care. Um, maybe you're worried about that. Maybe you are worried that the two of you don't have that connection that you used to. Um, but turn things around, change things, get, you know, get things moving into a more positive direction. It was so funny, when I saw this card flip over, I felt Nine of Cups and I had to take a double look at it. And I'm like, is that the Nine of Cups? And that's so crazy that the Nine of Cups came out. So I was feeling that Nine of Cups energy about feeling happy and feeling like, you know, you're, you're, you're in a happy place and, and you love this person and you wanna get back to that happy, positive place. And it's about leaving those energies, those things that, you know, just discussing them and working through it and then getting it off your plate and not bringing it up again. You know, with any relationship, there's things about, things that go on that bother you, you know, things that sort of you have in the back of your mind that are um, kind of start out small and you're like, oh, I just, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to talk about it. Um, but then that starts to grow and that starts to build and then it adds on other little things and that can become a very big thing if you don't work through it. So maybe it's, you know, when you have this time to the two of your, you know, you, the two of you have this time to yourselves, maybe it's about bringing those things up, you know, not obviously all of them so that it turns into an argument during your dinner, but Maybe this is a chance for you to discuss, you know, some of those things and get that off your chest, clear the air, and then move forward. Or for the two of you during this dinner to set a time like, hey, I know we have some things that we have to talk about, but let's just enjoy our dinners, but let's make a point that we both sit down and we talk about these things so that we can have a connection, so that we can move forward with our relationship in a positive way and have that connection, have that attraction, have that flirt, have that fun, you know, and work through this, all right? Yeah, Ace of Swords. Aces are new beginnings and it's working through a difficult situation. Um, um, hard work and patience is rewarded that it'll be rewarding for you to know that the two of you can work through those difficult things. Knight of Swords is about moving forward, you know, believing that these things can happen. Um, and it's also about putting your trust into a, a trusted friend. And I feel like that's what you'll have with your partner is that it's a trusted friend. Like that's the best kind of relationship is that you're you feel like you have your best friend by your side that is by you in the good times and the bad times. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles. It's about, you know, forward progress. And then we have the Hermit. Um, it could be with a Virgo, but it's about taking that time for the two of you by yourselves without the other um, distractions of life and making that time um, just for the two of you, whether it's a couple hours, whether it's, maybe it's a weekend getaway, you know, maybe it's like, okay, let's just plan this and we don't have the kids, we don't have friends, we don't have family, it's just the two of us where we can work on our relationship and give it a chance because the two of you, you know, really love each other but there's definitely something on your mind that is bothering you that you want to discuss with your partner that you have to work through and move past. All right, I love my fortune reading cards, so I wanna close out with one of these. It's all about you have to be committed and you have to be willing to put the work into a relationship. And if you don't, then the other person is gonna feel your energy and they're not gonna to want to either. But I feel like in this case from the cards, I feel like it's a relationship that you are connected because 
That's why you're worrying. If you didn't care about the other person, then you wouldn't be worrying about this situation and you wouldn't be worrying about wanting to give your relationship a chance. And I feel like once you do that, that you know, you have the wheel. So it's, it's going to change. It's going to turn things around for you. All right. Oh, look at that. We have sun. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. Perfect. That's exactly, you know, what this... This reading is is about you know giving that opportunity and and growing and learning and you know hard work and patience is rewarded and it's rewarding for you and we've got the nine of cups here and right next to the to the wheel so reach out you know be this page of cups reach out to your partner and say I want to work on this I want to figure this out or I want us to have our alone time so we can have that connection. You know back with each other where we're feeling young and lighthearted and we, we're feeling attracted and having those butterflies you know and that could be the start of something very beautiful and this is such a beautiful card with the sunflowers and the sun coming through positive energy love it all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i will see you next time